B B E 啊。This one is your VBE. Where is your VBE? You got your VBE or not? B what? No, this is not VBE. This is VBE. This is VBE. This is G2S. No, this is not. This is G2S. This is not G2S. This is 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 G2S. Because it's all MOSFET. This thing is? This one is the MOSFET, right? MOSFET is VGS, right? VBE is for? The BJD. BJD. Ah. Yeah. And this is not R5. I'm going to say that. 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 What's the hybrid prime model of the MOSFET? Mu R5 Mu R5 No, no, you draw your hybrid prime model of one MOSFET first The duster is there? Yeah, someone take over He won't take over What's the hybrid prime model? What's the hybrid prime model of one MOSFET? I didn't know you were so hybrid Hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid-hybrid
So in order to draw the AC equivalency of this whole part, I draw the AC equivalent, which is your hybrid prime model of this transistor first, then I connect the external circuit. Okay? And since we have already finished the hybrid prime model of your of my MOSFET, so I'm asking you to fill in all the external circuit. So for this wire, this wire is suggesting that my G and D are connecting together, so I connect my G and D together. How about the rest? And the G is connected to the M2. Again? G connect to M2. G connect to? M2. No, I'm no, just only asking focusing you to on the left side first, right? The left hand side. Then source to ground to here. Yeah. Source to? Yeah, maybe source connect to ground. To source to ground. To here. Yeah. Okay, source to ground. Q the the R ref is a it's a DC source so Q it. Okay, so how to kill this DC source? You we short circuit. We take a uh, no open circuit. Why? Uh, because for AC analysis, you open circuit current oh? sources. This uh DC current sources. Yes, for AC analysis, I open the. DC current source because this one is a current source, right? It's a DC current source. So in AC analysis, I kill it by open circuit. So I just remove it. Okay. So that means my terminal D, my drain is actually connecting to nothing. Right? Because I removed this part. So my drain is just there. So oh, okay. okay, so my drain is just there. So this one is the AC equivalent circuit of this left hand side. So where is my REQ? My REQ is equal to R R O one. Where is your REQ? Where is your REQ? REQ is standing at where and looking into which direction? Standing at? Standing at where? Standing at where? Okay, your REQ is by standing at? The gate. The gate of my M1, right? So here is my gate. So I'm standing at here. Looking into? The Looking into the <coughs> looking into the <coughs> the left hand side, right? right? So for this case, it's looking into here, right? Huh. So here's my REQ. So what's my REQ? How do they run? Uh, REQ we can put a test voltage to derive. Okay, so I put a test voltage. Yeah, then we see the current flow, then we... Vx so let's say my test voltage is Vx, current flow is Ix. Then, how Vx, do you continue? Vx, Yx. Then? Is equals to... No. no, we should, this one we should look at the Ix. Ix equals to G. GMVBS over plus R not over V next VX over R not VX over R zero one R O R plus GMVBS VBS VGS VGS equals to IX Yes, no. Yes or no? Agree. It's agree. Agree. Great. Agree. 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 It's coming off of ground. Oh yeah, sorry, it's coming off of ground. So it's minus GMVGS. 
上面那个 portion 是 more negative than brown. This, yeah. this one, yeah, correct. Are you sure? Which one is coming out of the brown? Oh, Jerry. My GMVGS is coming out of the ground. My I, my I X is coming out of the ground. Why? Because of your V X is coming like that, but the I X is coming. Who said that? What's your I X? What's your V X? If I'm going to draw your V X, V X will look like this, right? <coughs> also, yeah. is not coming out of the ground. My IX is coming out of my VX. My VX is a source. VX is a source, right? It's just like a normal circuit, you connect a source here, then you have your current drone by the rest of the circuit out of the source. So my IX is coming out of the source. It got nothing to do with your ground. This one is a simple circuit, right? I got a source here. And the current is flowing out of this source. Where go your ground? No. Question down. If you cannot understand, you need to ask question. <coughs> Otherwise, I will just skip. I thought it's because of the direction of so the GMVGS and DX is different. <coughs> GMVGS and VX. VX. No, the GMVGS is a, is a current source. It's just saying that the current in this branch is flowing down. That's all. Yeah, he's fine. Okay, sure. 
We're just going to see. I told you many many times uh, it's not depends on your memory or how good your memory is. Uh, I do this before because this one I remember is negative, so every time it's negative. No. What I really want you to remember is the way of how to analyze the circuit. It's not, it's not how good you can remember remember all the circuit. No, it's not remembering is. Then you cannot tell taught me last time I do this is negative. No. It's never a reason. It should look at the circuit and analyze. Okay, so I x is this a this equation. Then what's the next step? How to get my R E Q? B x over I x. How to get this one? How to shift? I x equals I x minus GMBGS times R not equals to your then the whole thing. Take out I x. Huh. For this one you cannot shift it into this form. Uh. The only thing you can do is sub uh, substitution. Uh. Okay? So you have your VX, then you sub your IX expression. So you have this one. So how to simplify? How to simplify? It's substitution because R E Q equals to this one. Oh, okay. Okay. So V X V X I X is this equation. So you just sub in. And why R E Q equals to this one is we define. Because that's the usual way of finding the input or output impedance. So how to simplify this this equation? Is it like VGS equals to minus Vx? Again, again? VGS equals to minus Vx. VGS equals to? Minus Vx. Minus Vx. Is that correct? Why you make this statement? Because G is... The Vx is, is from G to source. Because mm -hmm. Vg... Say the Vx is like the opposite polarity of VGS. No, G, VGS is equals to VX. Uh. VGS is equal to G, G, S, G, S equals to the entire mega VX. Ma. Oh, VX is the same sound. VGS is the same sound. Oh, yeah, so, so. So, so. Hmm? so VGS equals to VX, or VGS equals to minus, v, uh, minus X. It's not, it's not, it's not, they just look at a second and tell me whether your VGS, VGS equals to VX or minus v, VX. You look at a second and tell me, <laughs> it's all there. What is this? Here is your G, here is your S, right? Uh, yeah. So by saying VGS, we are saying G is higher than S, right? The pot potential, okay? So where is your VX direction? This way up. VX here is higher, here is lower, right? Oh, so, so higher potential is connecting to G, low potential is connecting to S. Yes. 
I I don't know how to say that. This one is you need to go back and practice. Huh? You analyze circuit, then you will, you know, you need practice. You need practice. Okay? So VGS equals to VX. So I can replace this VGS by VX. So you have uh, this one. So? Can well be at all. Okay, so I cancel my VX. How to continue? How to continue? I already taught you for diode connected transistor, its equivalent resistance is 1 over GM. But if you look at this answer, this one is 1 over something plus your GM. Because the R0 you say is very big before, so the portion will be. It's not I say, it's physically it's very big. Ah. Okay, because your R out, for your MOSFET is very big, so the distance is. Cancel. It's not cancel, it's distance yeah. is approaching. In, you know, in, in approaching zero. Yeah. This thing is approaching zero, right? So this whole thing is about one over GM. Huh? Yeah, okay. So this how to derive your REQ, which is the equivalent resistance of your diode connector transistor. Okay, so every time we install this diode connected transistor, you should immediately know its equivalent resistance is is what? One over GM. One over GM. Okay. Can I erase? They got one slide talking about this one. Can I erase? Can I erase? Okay, so by knowing the equivalent resistance for your left hand side is 1 over GM1. I can now redraw this, this uh, simple parameter into its equivalent for it, which will be something like this. Agree? Yes. Because I'm replacing whatever on the left by its equivalent resistance, which is what uh, this REQ, which is 1 over GM. And this REQ, how this REQ is connecting to the right hand side is by via this wire, right? This wire is connecting to the gate of my M2. So this resistor is connecting to the gate of my M2 via a wire. Right? So this is the simplified version of my original current mirror circuit. So our final goal is to find this R out, which is the output resistance, output impedance of my entire current mirror circuit. So how to find this R out? How to find this R out? Use dividend? How to use dividend? Do we need to use dividend? Yes. 
how to find the R out of this circuit. The first thing you should come up is not your deafening, it should be your single transistor amplifier. How to find the output impedance of your single transistor amplifier. So how we find the output impedance of a circuit? How to find the output impedance of a circuit? Connect what? Pitch. Connect voltage. Elaborate more. You need to be confident about yourself. In the exam, you can only trust yourself, right? So you must trust yourself. Connect the top bar and to do a PC source. So you are saying that we'll put a, put a testing voltage yeah, uh, voltage source here. Like what we did just now. Okay, so we Put a testing voltage here, which is my Vx, and I try to measure. Try to measure the current drawn by this part of, of my circuit, right? Try to measure this Ix. And this Vx over my Ix will be my R out. So now the question is, what's this Ix over v, uh, Vx over Ix? Method, right? It's the same method. What we did just now. Find out how the current flow off. What we did just now. Find Ix. Yes, how to find. First step. When you do a question, you need to be very clear. What's the first step I should do? What's the next step I should do? It's not like you treat the question as a as a as a something very blur and vague. It's not by that method. You need to plan. What's the first step I should do? What's the next step? So in order to find this output output uh, impedance, we already know we can use this method, which is by using a testing voltage. Okay. So by knowing this method, this is just what a method, right? After I decided to use this method, what's my first what's the first step I should do? What's the plan? Point current, yes. How to point current? Yes. As what we did just now, and I need more detail in this prep for me. First thing first, you look at this circuit. This circuit is still in its original form, right? I should change my transistor into its hybrid pi model. Okay? So I need, so I need to redraw the AC equivalent circuit of this circuit. So the AC equivalent circuit will be... This one is the equivalent circuit of this guy. It's easy, right? Because it only consists of one transistor and one resistor, nothing else. It's much, much simpler than your what? Single transistor amplifier, right? Again, again, again. Is it R of this R of 2? Yes, I'm trying to ask you to prove. Oh. I already taught you this R is R of 2. I need a derivation. Oh, no. oh. Because I know after you go back, you will never try the derivation. But actually, the key is the derivation. So, where is my R out? R out is standing at where? Here, right? I need here and look into this side. Here's my R out. And 
And here is my test footage. Tools are up. My out, out. Hello. Use the same analysis method again. No, I don't I don't want to hear use the same analysis method. I, I need the exact analysis method. Uh IX equals to GMBB G GMBB2 VGS2 plus VX over R02. Okay, so then we need the same the we then next one will be VX over IX, which is the I R out. Because of Vx over the entire equation on top. Gs. Let's just get to the source. Gs is the same as Vgs two equals Vx. Okay. VGS two equals to VX. Yeah. VGS two equals to VX. Yeah. 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 VGS. Reason. Your G is here. Your S is here. Your G is connected to the higher potential. Your S is connected to ground. No. You are blindly copy the last example. No. Look at the circuit now and tell me what's your VGS. 